Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. We're back here at Old Timer's Farm, and we are plowing. Plowing, plowing, plowing the world. Uh, basically what I'm doing, I'm going around and I'm going to make a perimeter uh, around our fields here. Uh, just to get the plowing underway. Just to get it started and kind of, you know, scoped out to see where we want uh, the perimeter to be. I think I want to leave this field road in here, so I'm going to go around it. I could see putting some placeable silos or something out here eventually. And I've got some stumps i got to grind out too. Apparently I missed them. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to plow this out. This road I'm going to go ahead and plow out. Because we really don't need it. And then I'll plow this into this, raise this up, and we'll turn here. Yeah, I want to keep the road. And we'll hop over the highway here and start working on that one. Got all the stumps finally ground out over there. Took me a minute. You don't even want to know how many stumps I've still got to grind out on Madison. It's not not even funny. Not even funny, like, at all. And I'm, I'm like, coming at an angle here, you know. Move over. No, no, stay over this way now. Come on. Not that far over. Alright, that looks good. So we'll hop over here. I'm going to make this field over here. Now, I had an issue over here. There's a stump that wouldn't grind out, like, at all. So, and I know it might affect the uh, the hired worker bit over here, so I may have to do an in-row over that manually every time. Oh, gosh. Sorry, y'all. That happens every time. When I, when I record videos, and I've recorded a couple videos ahead of this one, or just before this one, I start losing my voice, and it just it just plays out like an old lady or an old man. It's like apple sauce, bananas. Whoop. But yeah, I just sound like I'm in. But that that uh, stump is over here somewhere. Where is it? I buried it. That's what I did. I, I buried it under a little bit of uh, ground here somewhere. I want to say it's out here. It's gonna be somewhere out here where the grass is flat. Somewhere out here. Right here, I think. Yeah, see how it kind of comes up there a little bit? So there's like a stump right here. Now, I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably have to go over that with an in-row because hired workers, they don't like them stumps. Uh, especially the ones that are underneath the ground. They pick up on them, so. Either, or I, I guess I could go back and try to figure out another way to grind that stump out. Maybe get a different grinder. I tried cutting it with a chainsaw, that didn't work. Uh, the bio belts, which is what I've been using as a grinder, it's been a great stump grinder, but I don't know, maybe there's just not a trigger on that stump. So, yeah, we're going to have to figure something out there. But for right now, I'm just playing on the perimeter. I can get that, I can get all the inside stuff later. I'm going to come back with a landscaping tool and, uh, clean up these edges a little bit. And actually, I'd kind of like to get a little closer. I may come back and take that out a little more. Get a little closer over here to the road. You know what I could do? I could set my GPS here. Just do it real quick. Set GPS. A is down, travel 15 meters, heading 270.0, 15 meters has been traveled, Alt E, set auto width, auto width set, set cruise, boom, bada boom, bada bing, we're there. So now, unless I hit the steering wheel, it should stay straight. And I really wanted to get these bushes out of here, so that's, 
Yeah, I guess the landscaping tool will take them out too. So we'll just leave that with that. Alright. Been trying to watch the fields too to see what they plant. Uh, oh yeah, that's one thing about the GPS, it will stop. Kind of like the hired workers, you know how they get to the end of the field and stop? If you have your GPS on, it will stop. And it gets to the end of the field here. The only downside to this GPS is you can't rotate it 90 degrees. The only downside. So I would have to reset this this way, which is not hard. I mean, I've got get your heading straight, turn it off, turn it back on, set your A there. Try to keep your heading as straight as you can, and I'm not doing a very good job over here. And then, come on heading, stay straight. Stay on zero, set it, and forget it, there you go. And then sometimes it does that too. If you turn it on, it'll stop, so you have to start again. It's a little ridiculous, but I mean. And there it goes again. Come on. What's wrong with you? Cruise control on. Go. Go, go. Alright, I'll just hit the gas and make you go. It may be the road. Maybe the road's doing it. Yeah, it must have been the road. Sometimes those roads, they have triggers on them, they won't let you go nowhere. It's like, hey, we don't want to plow over this road. Alright, let me check the crop growth here. Nobody has planted hemp. Why is nobody planting hemp? And why did our guy stop again? He is, he just keeps stopping. We're just going to have to hold the gas pedal down, I guess. I guess I need, I probably need to go back around and check for stumps. Probably need to do that. Alright, we want to play all through this road. And you know, he's not holding his heading really true. He's at 359.8 and I engaged him at zero, so... I think I'm going to have to turn off the GPS and do this manually. Just to keep it in the line, I don't want to get right up on the road there. My stomach's growling. Ugh, should I eat breakfast before I did this? The old stomach is a growling. Don't worry guys, I'm going to come back, like I said, with the landscaping tool and uh, fix a lot of this. Now this is where I need to do, I need to bring it back this way from that tree. So the tree that sticks out the farthest, which would be this birch tree. Oh no, that's not a birch tree. Sure did look like a birch tree in the distance there. I need to turn around. Get up close to it. Plow right in front of it here. And that will be our perimeter, kind of right in front of that tree. Because I don't plan on cutting these trees. The trees around the river, I won't cut them. These over here, you know, in these fields, when we acquire those fields, I'll cut those. But the ones around the river now. There we go. 
All right. Try to square that. Take out that last bush. Yeah, why not? All right. So let's go back this way. And we'll go back up around clockwise this way. This is what's going to hard, be hard to keep straight. Let me, um... Benedict has ruined me with this GPS thing. Yep. For some reason, it doesn't want to keep going. I don't know if that's something to do with the map here, because I don't have really any issues with this uh, anywhere else. It's almost like it's hitting a uh, like an object or something. Like I'll just be rolling along with cruise control going, and it'll just quit. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, not only are we increasing the uh, size of our fields, but uh, be increasing the yield this way. Right, should I skip or should I go up there? I probably should go up there. Let's go ahead and get this side kind of finished out here. Yep, there it goes again. Doesn't want to stay on. I don't know. Maybe it's picking up on the road here. See, there it goes again. It quits. And like, like, see right here now, I can't even reactivate it. I have to just hit the gas pedal and go. I don't know if it's picking up on the road over here. I don't, I don't think there's any stumps. I didn't really come back and do a double check like I normally do. Maybe I should do that. Between now and the next video, come back and check and make sure there's no stumps anywhere. Should be easier now that I've got it plowed out more. I'm not saying that I didn't miss any, but I'm not seeing any where I'm plowing at is the problem. Because there could be a few little stumps, like in these little bushes or something, maybe. I know I missed some over there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to plow the whole shebang out. Plow it all out, and then we'll put down uh, probably lime. I would imagine it would need lime, yeah. Everywhere we're going to plow is going to need lime, so. No worries, we got to finish plowing out over here too, and everything's going to need, the whole world is going to need liming, so. So should I curve this or square it? I think I'm going to square it. And there goes the thing quitting on me again. Just square this out here. And like I said, I can take out these bushes with the landscaping tool. Ones that I miss. And I can come back and square it out too. So 
Not a big deal. All right, so we got our perimeter for that field. Let's get this one over here now. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. Can I activate my cruise and make it work? Now when I get down here and go back down that length, I'll activate the GPS. I can shift that line over if I need to, but it's really slow to do that. It's almost quicker just to set a new line, so we'll see where we're at down here. Hopefully it'll work out to where we can use it. It doesn't look like it, though. Well, I don't know. That's pretty close. I can even use that one, probably. And then maybe the GPS keeps the cruise control working, you know. That's a pretty straight line. We're at 360 degrees, which is, you know, 0.1. It's not bad to have a 0 0.1, 0 0.2, you know, offset there, but say now we're at zero, so we're heading due north. Zero degrees, kids, is due north. There's 0 0.1. It, it, it differentiates. It bounces back and forth, but for the most part, it stays pretty straight on whatever course you sit. But yeah, we'll be able to get these plowed up and get these fields planted. Start doing some crop. I can't believe nobody has planted hemp, though. Nobody. Nobody's planted. I do have crop growth on, don't I? I do. Yeah. So these guys out here should be planting something soon. They haven't done anything yet. Hmm. Boy, can you imagine a big field like that? Or like 39 in hemp. Boy, that would be awesome. So I think I'm going to buy the hemp fields. Uh, yeah, yeah, you want to quit on me, I know. And I think I'll keep this field road, so I need to see where it comes out at there. Looks like right to that edge right there. We'll just go up here and come back just a little bit here so we get it straight. Nice and straight. Got that. Mm, well, I'm going to come in there with a landscaping tool anyway, so I'm just going to leave it like that. I was going to say I could have come over right there a little bit more, but I'm probably going to take out some of this that I've already plowed with the landscaping tool, so no worries there. And I missed. Took out part of the road too, crap. No worries, we got the landscaping tool, we can fix it. We can fix it. And we need to turn somewhere here. Okay, so again, see the birch tree? Okay, that's a birch tree. That's definitely a birch tree in the distance, but I bet it changes to an oak. Yep, there it went. It changed to an oak. So that's weird. We got birch trees sitting along the thing, and they're, they're like morphing into oak trees. Look at that. Isn't that weird? So what I'll probably do...
is take this to the limit one more time. No. Um, probably take this like this right here and go straight this way. And then I'll put an angle going up that, to that other field up there. Stay on target. Stay on target. New, no, new, no, new. No. Come on, red leader. Stay on target. Or gold leader. Who was it? Was it gold leader? I think it was gold leader that couldn't stay on target. And they came, they saw, and got blowed up. Come on, really? It's wanting to pull. It's weird. It's going uphill is that way, and it's wanting to pull that way. All right, here we go. It does leave a big chunk out there, though, doesn't it? I may curve that around. I really don't want to. I really don't. Uh. I kind of want to leave that road. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it looks once we get it, you know, lined out here. Now, right through here, connect those corners, maybe. I think what I'm going to do here is do it, just do it a little bit at a time. Try to keep the furrows straight, you know. Definitely need to come over. Looks like about maybe mm, five four five furrows or something. Probably right where that corner is at, I would imagine. Would be enough. I wish I knew what the degree of, uh, I'm trying to remember what the degree of the furrows is here. I know from 90 it's 45. Between 0 and 90 it's 45. Trying to get in here and get this straight. Is it 225? Is that the diagonal? Is it 225? I'm going to say yeah, because that, that looks pretty close. If I turn around this way, what is it? Maybe 45, yeah, 45. I know it's 45 this way. Yeah, that's 45 this way. So I think it's 225 this way. So let me let me get out in the field here. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to set up this GPS to hold 225 if it will. If it will. It might not work that way, but... Alright, reset. Reset it. I don't know that this will work, but we will try it and see. So there's 225 right there. 
It's really hard to hold when it's on a hill like this. And you know what? I'm too far over. So cancel that. I need to get like right there. You know what? YOLO it. I'm just, let's just do it. Let's just take it from this corner and go. I'm not going to mess with the GPS right now. We can come back and do some touch-ups with the landscaping. If we absolutely need to. prettier this would probably work better with that chisel plow and I think I have one of those or do I I'm trying to remember I don't know did I buy one on this map I know I've got them on medicine Alright, that'll work for now. I'm going to come back with the landscaping tool and touch it up. Alright, all this looks good. i got to do one more of those up here. Now up here, I think I can set it on the 45 and go. Which I really won't need to set the GPS line, but... Just got to get that lined up with that corner there. Now we get that set to 45. Forty-five. So lower that right there. Just try to stay straight on forty-five. Got that. And I may leave this grass area here down here. May not extend this very far because we want to leave enough room for our equipment to turn around. So now this other side over here is fair game. We'll take it over a little bit. Excuse me, Mr. Minivan. Come up and bump my front weight. Don't you see my beacon on here? Alright, now I do want to set a GPS line this way because that's going to be a long drive. Alright. So, Alt E, lower that, move forward, try to keep it on 180. Got to go 15 meters, which I don't know. It's hard to tell what 15 meters is here. Is it at least 15 meters, or I don't know. We'll keep it like that. All right, that should do it. Let me get back to 180 there. There we go. All right. So set the line and activate. Looking good so far.
getting over just a little. I am, but keep in mind that's not going to stay against the road. I'm going to come back with the uh, the landscaping tool and grass in a block of that, maybe a couple blocks, just on the edge there. But we'll get we'll get a, something a little extra out of this. May block in like uh, what three or four furrow, furrows there, and then we'll get all the rest of this. So it's gonna be good. And then see that when it, it's it's gotta be the road. Every time he hits a road, he goes off cruise. So it's definitely gotta be the roads. They're picking up some type of trigger on the road. But hey, at least we're getting our plowing done now. We'll get all this plowed, get all the uh, the center parts of these fields plowed out. And then we can plant these fields. They'll be ready to go. I could plant them as is right now, but look at all the look at look at what all we we will be gaining here. See all the grass that's inside these lines? That will be new field. All the grass that's inside back there, these edges. All of this will be new field. See wherever, see out there in the middle where the grass and all the roads are, even over on the field, way over yonder. That will all be field. So that will definitely increase the yield. Um, and if we plant hemp, which is kind of the plan, then it should be a good, uh, good payday. You know what? I was going to watch that price too. That hemp price. It was, it was going up last time we were here um it may have peaked it did it peaked at 1980 so we need to sell that we need to sell our hemp tell you what we'll stop plowing we get the gist of this we're, well we're almost there we'll, we'll keep going we're almost to our perimeter we'll finish this out and we'll go sell that all that hemp so if we look at the map go to like growth you can see where the new perimeters will be. This will all be one field inside there, and this will all be one field inside this perimeter here. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Increasing the size of these fields. It's the name of the game. I think I've got a truck in the silo over there, so that's good. We're ready to go there. Where are we going with hemp? 1980 old timers mill sales. It's just down the road, not far. All right, so we've done plowing. We've got our perimeter. I'll just stop this guy here, and let's go over to our truck. Wherever it may be, there it is. Gonna have a little extra time on here. It's gonna be, a, I guess, a double episode. Let's see, can I go backwards and go quicker there? Yep. So we've got uh, 194,000 liters of hemp. I head down the road here with it. This might take forever to fill up. No, actually, it's not going to take long. 194,000 liters. We're almost there. We're going to make some money, though. Or wait. Okay, no, that's not 194,000 liters. That's 1.9 million liters. Okay. Well, we've got five minutes before this becomes a double episode, so we'll sit here and watch this uh, beautiful footage of this thing filling up. It's it's getting there. I'm going to take a water break while we walk. I am back guys it's filling it is definitely filling almost looks like moss like the moss you find growing like on the side of a tree getting there one one million so we got what 1.9 million was it? yeah 1.9 million almost 2 million liters wow we're gonna get some money guys 
Which is not a bad thing. Money is a good thing. And we'll wait and see what, what fields they plant in hemp, if any. Like I said, I'm not... I, if, you know... I hate to say exclusive hemp, like I only want to buy hemp fields. But we may settle for some other cash crops. Like, you know, canola, sunflower, uh, soybeans especially. So... We'll keep an eye out. Gotta love this 5 million liter trailer though. Can dump all that into one hopper. So each one holds what, 2.5 million? Yeah. So that, that front hopper will be almost full. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make a lot of money guys. We may break this map. At 1980, that's soybean prices. Because soybeans, it's actually better than the soybean price right now. But, you know, around 1900 to 2000 on soybean. And that's pretty much at 2000, 1980. We are fixing to make a load of money, guys. But we'll need that money to turn around and plant more hemp and buy new fields. All right, we're done. We're full. Let's go sell this. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little scared to see how much money we're going to make. It's definitely going to be over a million. I, I think it'll be definitely over a million. Probably more. Jump the road. Woo! Here comes the money. Money's green. Here comes the money. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait and see these fields that have just been harvested. I'll wait and see what they plant in them. Hopefully some of them will be hemp. I'm really interested in buying hemp fields. Alright, come on, truck. We're getting there. we got a couple minutes here, so hopefully this doesn't take very long to sell. They really, and, and I hope in Farming Simulator 21, they really rethink these cell points. No more elevated cell points. They need to be flat on the ground. Ooh, stop truck. And see, this is why, because you, know, you have no traction. Come on, back up. No traction whatsoever. All right, switch to the front. Sell the hemp. Yeah, we're making money. 1980 old timers mill sales. I hope I'm in the right place. Yeah, old timers mill sales. We're making money. Lots of it. We're not even past a million yet, guys. We've already made a million. I think we're going to make at least two million. Maybe more. Because we got a lot of hemp. We're not even past a million yet, and we're almost at two million. Okay, we just broke the million barrier. Okay, I th we might make three million. <laughs> yeah, we're breaking the map. Oh, gosh. And we're not on easy, either. This is on normal economy. Pretty sure. Yeah, normal economy. I always play... I try to play my maps on normal. All right, we've got three million dollars in the bank. And then some. We're still we're still going. We might make four million. Might be just shy of four million. Just shy of four million. We made three wow. We made three million eight hundred and fifty two thousand dollars off of our hemp alone. That was just we didn't have any other hemp in storage, I don't believe. I think that was just from field 41. Wow. We are, we, okay, we're, we're becoming hemp farmers, guys. That is insane. Like, what's the most expensive field on here right now? I'm not going to buy it, don't worry. Um, is it 46? 
Ooh. Okay, so we can't afford the most expensive field, so... 44.4. What's 39? Okay, that's that's the most expensive one. 5 mil right there. So, yeah. Hmm. So we're going to become hemp farmers, guys. <laughs> we almost broke the map there. Um, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's great. Hemp farming it is. So I'm going to watch these fields and see... You know what they plant hopefully they'll plant some hemp in them and then we can just buy those fields you know maybe do the contracts on them are there any sewing contracts i wonder like for sewing hemp um oats rye soybeans sunflowers soybeans soybeans we might have we might buy some soybean fields guys because it looks like they're sowing a lot of soybeans oats oats yeah might buy a lot of soybean fields it looks like they're wanting to plant soybeans in these in these fields but I'll keep an eye on it and um, we'll come back and hopefully they'll have it planted when we come back I'm gonna get back to plowing and uh, just sit on our cool 3.9 million dollars maybe ride my motorcycle around a little bit we're 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 good we're not struggling for money anymore uh, I can I can I can mess around now all right guys until the next time, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grand Arcade. We will see y'all later.